What's going on guys? Storm6678 here. I'm being a little bit quiet because my family is asleep, but um, today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be focused on the glow transition. Now I know I made a Instagram poll about this a while ago. Uh, I made an impact tutorial, which if you haven't seen already, uh, check it out. Link in the bio, or link in the description, and then... Um, <clears throat> Uh, today we're just going to be talking about a very, very, very simple transition. It's like very smooth. Um, I do it in between clips or if I'm doing like an RC edit. Uh, that I'm just trying to portray a message, like the 3D um, text. I'll do it between scenes for that. Um, and it just helps it like flow along. So like right here. Uh, here I'll just render preview this. So we have our first shot, and then we have the beginning of our second clip. So, so as you can tell, it's kind of a, um, a very sharp jump from clip to clip, but I want to make a glow transition. All right. Now, before we get into this, I'm just going to ask you guys to please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and comment down below what you think of these tutorials. Uh, I put out at least once a week um, a tutorial. I've been posting a lot more consistently because my analytics are showing me that if I post more, I get more uh, engagement. You know what my analytics also show me? That more than 60% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you could hit that subscribe button, it would really help the channel. Uh, I'm growing like at a steady pace. Let's bump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. All right, back to the tutorial. So um, between here, so it's between these two clips right here. All right, this is in Sony Vegas. Um, I am going to be using Sapphire plugins. However, you can use the regular Vegas Glow if you want to. So I'm going to go down to S underscore Glow. Uh, I have some presets here. We're just going to use the main one though. Um, so essentially, uh, there's like two ways to do it, but so I can keep it like a little bit more concise. Uh, what I do is I'll go to my marker where the uh, clips are split. If you don't know how to make a marker, it's just M on your keyboard and that's how you do that. So for the first clip, uh, this one, I'm going to do uh, with the arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm going to tap the left arrow key uh, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight frames. So right there, I'm going to click. So this is highlighted in yellow, and I'm going to split it with S on the keyboard. Go back here, same thing with the right arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click on this and then split it like that. All right, so now for this clip, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the glow, all right? And as you can see, this menu pops up. Uh, it was on my other monitor, so. Uh, but this menu will pop up and we're just gonna keyframe the brightness. So we're gonna hit this animate button, scroll up here and then we'll have our S underscore glow here. Now we want the glow to be at the end of our clip, right? Because it's gonna glow into it. So at the start, we're gonna take that keyframe and we're gonna drag this down to zero. All right, so it's gonna start at zero. Now, you can just have glow, right? And it looks pretty decent. But what I like to add is I also like to add a Gaussian blur. Um, this is a Vegas uh, preset. Uh, I will do a medium blur uh, just to make it more um, more stress on the transition. So you have your horizontal range and vertical range. You're going to keyframe both of them. You're going to take this diamond and drag that to the end. And then you're just going to drag these to zero because you are at the start of the clip. That's why we split it so you can start at the beginning of the clip. Now, that right there is going to keyframe to that, and it looks pretty damn nice. Now, 
all you're going to do for this is the reverse process. So we're going to take the Gaussian blur. You can do either or uh, first. And you're going to keyframe these, right? But at the end of the blur, right here at the very end, you're going to drag these down to zero. Rather than the beginning to the end, you're doing the end to the beginning, or vice versa. Uh, and then you're going to go back down, click on S underscore glow, drag that on there. You can change the color if you wanted to. Uh, and then you're just going to take the keyframe of the brightness, go to the end of the clip, which my cursor is at the end of the clip. You're going to drag all the way down to zero. Now let's render this out and see what it looks like. Now that looks pretty damn clean to me. Alright, so that's honestly it. If you want to get a little bit fancy, you could add a uh, uh, no, not this one. Um, let me see, compositing mode here. So this is, oh, that's not a good layer. But I have like film burns and stuff. This is something different. But if you wanted to, you can add a film burn. It just adds a little bit more uh, texture and life to it. But just a nice, clean, simple transition. Um, I will render this guy out for you guys. Play it at the beginning and end if you haven't already seen it at the beginning. And yeah, a uh, quick six minute tutorial how to do a glow transition. Super simple and super effective to uh, blend those clips together. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to comment down below. You can hit me on Instagram at the the storm 6678. And um, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.